Alright, let's go on part 11 now. Continue on. Welcome to NXT TakeOver, where we have huge breaking news. Red has officially been cleared to compete for the NXT Women's Championship against Candice LeRae and Rhea Ripley, who brutally attacked Red just a few weeks ago. In addition to that enormous match, we also have the finals of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic, where Trey and Velveteen Dream will take on the Viking Raiders. Well, Byron, in all your excitement, you forgot to mention that since the women's championship match is back to a triple threat, that also means it'll be no disqualification, which, if you ask me, only means trouble for Candice and Ren. You wish. Hey, I heard the good news, you were cleared, but uh, you sure you're okay? I'm only sure of one thing. I'm going to annihilate Rhea Ripley. She almost took everything from me, but her mistake was she stopped at almost. Tonight, I won't stop. At least your match is no DQ. That way you can take care of Rhea and still win the title, so that's good. Ooh. I'd say it's very good. Ooh. Trying to go Ah. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yes. The dream's reflection is beautiful. Right. Well, that trophy could be ours, but I was thinking we still don't feel like a real team. And a big part of that is because we don't have matching outfits like all the great tag teams throughout history. So... I went and had these made. I hope you like them. I love them. Mm -hmm. Who is Val for whatever his name is? Dream. I've never heard him before. Never. Never in the WWE. Never. She's got an eye patch on because I'm. Um... Oh, I love Candace. This is going to be fun. Candace, the right? I don't even know who that is either. I think she's on NXT. Women. We're about to see which woman rules the landscape around here. These three women have crossed paths before, but never with so much on the line. Yeah, a big match on the Indies can put you on the map. The Mae Young Classic can kickstart a career, but becoming NXT Women's Champion can define a career. But are you guys forgetting that Red's out here competing half blind? I mean, I realized she was cleared. She's obviously not 100%. The real story is whether Candice LeRae will be able to stop Rhea Ripley from taking her title. As far as I'm concerned, Red's a non-factor. I would never say that, Corey. In fact, Red's got an extra gear of anger, and I think she might be able to use that to her advantage tonight. Out oh, kick to the knee. Oh. Here she goes, back in the ring now. Whack. Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. Got her. And Michael, that chair is made of cold, solid steel. Again! 
We've seen some unlikely alliances formed in these type of matches in the past. It'll be interesting to see if we get more of the Oh! To the outside. These superstars look determined to destroy each other here tonight, which is what you would expect, I guess, when the gold is on the line. She's looking relentless now. She's looking good now. We'll see if it lasts. Candice LeRae with a beautiful counter. Wow, she turned that one around. Landing. Ooh. Uh oh. And a suplex. Gets her again. Man, she really knows how to handle herself, huh? Whack. Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. The impact. Oh, right in the face. Uh oh. Oh, my, down with authority. Saw that one coming. And another reversal. Seems like we're back where we began, Michael. Nice drop kick. There's going to be a lot of offense in this match. Monkey flip. Hooked them up. High angle belly to back suplex. Oh no! Ah, oh, right to the throat. She's dazed in the corner there. Oh, saw it coming. Back suplex. Big punch finds its mark. Oh! Landing face first. Come on. Oh, Rhea's ready here. This is about over. I love this. Come on, get up, get up, get up, get up. The champ's eyes look glazed over. I'm not sure. Cover by the challenger. Come on, get up. Bringing it back between the ropes. Gonna take more than that. Spin kick to the midsection. Kick! Nelson apply. The champion into the cover! Red's done it. She's over. That was easy. Career ending injury to become the new NXT Women's Champion. We just witnessed one of the gutsiest performances in NXT history. I'll be the first to admit I was wrong about Red. This was no fluke tonight. She earned every ounce of the gold she now holds in her hands. And there you see Red crossing this achievement off her list. One of many significant things she may go on to cross off in her career. A truly inspiring moment. Woo! What was it? Uh, win NXT Championship. That's it. She did it.
for the first time since they started teaming, Trey and Velveteen Dream make their entrance together. Uh, and they've got brand new matching gear. Looking good. Maybe they've turned a corner as far as their team chemistry goes. It's one thing to wear the same gear as your partner, but the real test is going to be in the ring. If these two aren't on the same page when it really matters, the Viking Raiders are going to slaughter them. Look at Trey's moves. He's clearly been studying Velveteen's entrances. Oh, that time would have been better spent watching film on the Viking Raiders. But what's new? This guy's priorities have been out of whack since day one. To be fair, Corey, Velveteen Dream is known for his eccentric entrances, but always delivers when the bell rings. So why can't Trey do the same thing? Well, that's easy. He doesn't have the same level of natural talent that Velveteen has. And besides, look at this guy. He looks like a goof out here trying to do Velveteen's mannerisms. If you're going to put that much effort into your entrance, at least get your own style. Uh, he's just trying to be a good teammate. It's all in good fun. Well, if this is your idea of fun, then that explains a lot. Nonetheless, these two have had an unexpected and impressive run to make it here to the finals. It kind of reminds me of last year when Ricochet and Aleister Black were a somewhat unlikely pairing, and they went on to win the entire tournament. We could see a similar outcome tonight. Uh, highly unlikely. The Viking Raiders have teamed thousands of times all over the world while Trey and Velveteen barely know each other. You can't overstate that kind of advantage. I, I hear you, but look at these synchronized moves. I'm telling you, these two are ready. God, I, would, I wish I could just skip this because this just looks so stupid. Oh god, that was so horrifying. Horrifying and funny to watch. As this Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic final match gets underway, both of these teams look to join a prestigious group of previous winners. Yeah, the first tournament in 2015 included a star-studded field that was won by the team of Samoa Joe and Finn Balor. That's right. Other teams that have their names etched on the trophy include the Authors of Pain in the Undisputed Era. Look, I'm sorry, but the team of Trey and Velveteen Dream doesn't belong among the names you mentioned. The Viking Raiders, however, fit quite nicely. Well, before we just go hand out a trophy to anyone, let's see what happens in this match. Oh, he knew that was coming. Launched with a belly to belly. We've seen some great tag team action over the years here in WWE, and I can attest that this is no different. Lightning fast reflexes. Down in a hurry. This match grinded him down a little. The beauty of tag team. Here we go. Elbow drop. Out of it in the corner. Knife edge chop. Hold on, guys. This isn't good. Oh, what a right hand! As we've seen countless times over the years, superstars oftentimes try to make a statement with their entrance, and I think it's safe to say that Velveteen Dream did just that, firing at NXT TakeOver Philadelphia. Yeah, and leave it to Velveteen Dream to bring out an entourage prior to one of the biggest matches of his career. Finds a way to reverse. Bloody Bulldog! Nice amateur takedown. Um. Uh-oh. I'm afraid to think what's gonna happen next. Damn it, I'm dead. Elaborate a little more on Velveteen Dream's takeover Philadelphia entrance. You Come got to for me. Up. The best part was watching Dream have his customized mouth guard inserted by a member of said entourage. 
Yeah, that mouth guard was on a feather bed pillow, my Damn you. It. And he wore fancy airbrushed boxing trunks to the ring that said, dream over. And that night, he was standing tall over his opponent. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. It's decision time, Cole. Does he try to get back on the offensive himself, or does he attempt to make a tag here? Really needs to get to the corner and make a tag. Otherwise, this match may be over sooner than later. I saw that one coming. Nice. Launched with a belly to belly. Really just laying it in. He just cannot be caught. In a tag team contest, a superstar and partner lock up against another duo. Unless there's a special stipulation added to the match, the traditional rules of a singles match apply in terms of winning the match via pinfall, submission, count out, or disqualification. Hooked up. Wow, look at the power. He's getting a little battered now. Well, it's not dire consequences for him here, which is good. But just in case, he might want to think about getting his partner in there for a bit. In a standard tag team match, one competitor is in the ring against an opponent. In He's looking for some sort of respite, unable to get out of the ring. He doesn't want to be hung up in the bottom rope like that. Best ever, OMG. Drive by. Can he take advantage of this? Even better the second time around. Desperately needs to make a tag here. I don't know. It's going to be tough to make it to the corner. Almost there. So close, so close. Keep going. Come on. And he gets there. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Launched with a belly to belly. He continues to press forward. Well, time will tell if he can sustain this kind of effort. Come on, their shoulders. Gets the tag. senses. Velveteen Dream has essentially sacrificed Trey to their opponents. He has no chance. It's over. I'm sorry, war. but I'm shocked at what just happened. Well, face it, guys. The better team won just like I thought they would. Maybe we're going to get an explanation from Velveteen Dream. This is on you, partner. You called the Dream out, and you questioned the Dream's authenticity. But the Dream never needed some repulsive trophy for validation. The Dream already knew that there was only one Dream, and that is the Velveteen Dream. At one point, I considered letting you win this thing because the Dream felt sorry for your desperate need for success, but then you repeatedly stole the Dream's spotlight, leeching off the Dream's moves, the Dream's look, and anything else you can get your hands on. But it's like the saying goes, imitation is the sincerest form of battery. Oh 
no. Uh, are those handcuffs? Nice handcuff and tray to the ropes, just like how this all started. This is getting ugly. The man's helpless. We need someone to put an end to this right now. Look, I'm by no means advocating what's happening, but you have to admit, Trey brought this upon himself. The moment he mentioned Velveteen Dream's name, he was asking for trouble. Continue. I need a drink. Uh, pardon me, Red, Trey, you both have huge matches tonight. Do you have a second to comment? No. Yeah, we do. So Candice LeRae has invoked her rematch clause in an Iron Woman match. Now, after everything you've been through, are you ready for your first NXT women's title defense? Well, considering I'll actually be able to see this time, I think I'm more than ready. Trey, you are going to face Velveteen Dream in the first ever No DQ Spotlight match, where in order to win, you must steal your opponent's finishing move. Now, how have you prepared for this unique stipulation? I haven't had to. I've used his purple Rainmaker before, but he's never used my finisher. And on top of that, I might have another trick or two up my sleeve, because you never know when you might need it. We just go to the match. How would I got? Yeah, it's tough. Well. I might have taken you lightly in our last match because you were injured, but I won't make that mistake tonight. If I was able to beat two opponents with only one good eye, what do you think is going to happen when I only have one opponent and my vision back? I think you'll be able to get a real good look at me standing over you with the title back where it belongs. Woo! She thinks she's confident. <laughs> Sweet fanny pack. Thanks. I was kidding. Anyway, what were you talking about having a trick up your sleeve? Well, actually, it's more like a trick down my pants. That sounds incredibly creepy. Yeah, I hear it now. Uh, let me give you a sneak peek. Still creepy. Okay, I should rephrase. One of my tricks is I'm gonna wear a special outfit to get in Velveteen's head like he does to his opponents. There's three options I'm considering. Which one should I go with? Thanks for your help with that. I'm gonna need every little advantage I can get to defeat him. Yeah. And actually, this is it for this episode because I am cutting it short. Oh, I am cutting it short. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed this gameplay. I'll show you the download. But the time you see this, it will be done. And yeah, so yeah. All right, I'll catch us all in the next um, gameplay. Or oh, hang on, wait. Is this going to continue? Yeah, it's continuing. Look, it's Velveteen Trey. He's even got a fanny pack. We've seen Velveteen Dream wear unique outfits in an effort to get inside his opponent's heads. And now it appears Trey has followed a page from Velveteen's playbook. Uh, so what else is new? He's been stealing from Velveteen's playbook for the last month. That's how they ended up here tonight. It's a nice touch, but I think Trey's going to need to do a whole lot more to rattle Velveteen. I don't know about that. He looks like he might be rattled right now. I'd chalk that up to pure annoyance more than anything else. <laughs>
How can you tell the difference? After years of putting up with you, I'm pretty much an expert on the subject. Well, the time for psychological warfare is over. Let's find out who will prevail in this unprecedented first ever spotlight match. This no disqualification spot. Okay. Um, yeah, so this is going to cut in the short. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next gameplay. Catch you all later.